1968, Dr. Garrett Hardin introduced a principle. If a community shares a common resource like a pasture, and if each farmer is motivated by self-interest, they'll graze their animals as much as possible to get the maximum benefit from this shared resource until no grass is left. He called this the tragedy of the commons. The tragedy of the supermarket comes when people make purchases based on the cheapest price without asking why something is so cheap. Imagine a children's story about two farmers. One grows cheap food. He takes government subsidies, uses cheap labor, pollutes the environment, and puts profits above people to create a cheaper product. Which consumers want? They buy food in the same place they buy tube socks and lawn chairs. And they buy on price. The other farmer produces healthy food and is a caretaker of the environment. Except his prices are higher. So eventually, he goes out of business. How does food get so cheap? First, by removing costs from the actual price of the product. But those costs don't go away. When you buy cheap food, you have to pay to clean up waterways polluted by factories and agricultural runoff. You pay a higher healthcare cost to cover uninsured workers. And you pay taxes for welfare and social services for workers who don't make enough money to raise a family. When you add these health, social, and environmental costs back into the price of cheap food, it suddenly isn't so cheap after all. True cost accounting. It helps consumers know their food and navigate through important decisions when they shop for their families. Do you know the real cost of the food you're eating? To learn more about terms like true cost accounting, external costs, and the tragedy of the commons, visit lexiconofsustainability.com. And remember, your words can change the world.